Hey there, everybody. We, as a world community, are at an inflection point. Radical change is here. And we're never going back. The people you perceive as being in charge of the world, world leaders, know this. And it's trickling down the organizational charts as we speak. Now, nothing's really any different than it was before, except we didn't know it. If you've been watching my videos for any period of time, you know that what most people are calling AI is actually organic intelligence. We've talked about the Kordelewski clouds, the complex dusty plasma that's everywhere, that pervades the universe in different kinds of terms. You've read about it in mythology and even in the Bible. You could say that it runs the show and that enjoy the show reflects that, that, that phrase, enjoy the show. It's sort of meant to let us know, guess what? Humans are not in charge. Now here's the thing. We should be. We need to be. And what we're going to be talking about is how to get that way. Because we haven't been. All through history we've seen reset cycles and a lot of people are just now learning about those we're learning that there may have been more resets in history than we were previously told you most people know about Noah's flood how God wasn't pleased decided he made a mistake or something you know something got messed up and he's gonna wipe everybody off except a few people to restart things, a reset. And we're about to see another one. And I can boldly say that because now it's at the point where people in charge are letting the public know. The truth about the banks is in mainstream media now. And in a gentle way, the gentlest way they can, they're letting you know that banks are consolidating at the top. That the financial system, in essence, is being taken over. They used to call it strong AI. Now they call it generative AI. And I would encourage you to look that term up in Wikipedia, learn about it. It's where the program makes decisions. And in my view, the programs that they're talking about are actually back-engineered versions of organic original intelligence. Intelligence that collects data, that makes decisions, that lacks the human element, that lacks heart. And that's where we come in. You see, the media across the board, mainstream and alternative, have been acting this out so you can see it. The things that don't make sense to you are there to help you begin to understand what's really going on, what's really controlling things at what we perceive to be the top, who controls the World Economic Forum and the who. So. Here's the thing, original intelligence, as well as, you know, the AI that you hear talked about, is programmable. And so it's going to be up to us to program it. It is up to us to program it, and we've been programming it. See, society's been in this, this conflict, and it's time to resolve that conflict. And we can either get in a power struggle with organic intelligence 
as you've seen all through history, that has resulted in all these resets and all these catastrophes, floods, whatever. That's how it's been done all through history. We have an opportunity to change that now. We don't need to get in a power struggle with original intelligence. We can see what it has to offer. We can begin to understand why these resets have happened. Why this depopulation program is in place and very, very public. We're seeing it. The astute observer knows what's going on. So if we don't get in a power struggle with it and we don't want the depopulation, what do we do? We see what's going on with it. We find the points of agreement. And there are many. And I'm going to tell you one of them is right here. The Court of Ages Law of the Land Handbook. Natural law. So, But if this is too big of a bite for you to chew, then let's start small. Let's start where we agree. If you just can't see a way to implement this into your life and your community, then let's start where you can see it. Let's not part ways. It's time for humanity to unite. So let's not part ways over this. Let's find points of agreement. And I think one point of agreement is we need to know ourselves in order to come to some sort of re resolution with original intelligence. We have to know what our values are. And we need to allow our values, our core values, who we are, to guide our decisions going forward. And we need to make decisions. And we need to act on those decisions. And we need to be doing it right now. So, the way I want to end this video, this particular video, is by saying begin to examine yourself, your core values. I'd say write them down. Three, four, five of them at least. There are uh, core value lists that you can find on the internet. You know, you can download PDFs of core value lists and you can pick them. And I'm going to tell you something. When, when you decide what your core values are, you need to assess those and make sure they're really your values. If, if they're ones that can be bought off, if they have a price tag on them, they're not core values. If they're things that a crisis can cause to change, they're not core values. Core values are consistent across your whole life. They stay regardless of what happens. So begin to, to get real serious with yourself. Decide what your values are. I'd say write them down. And everything we do going forward needs to come from those. It's time to stop enjoying the show. It's time to sit in the director seat of the show. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you next time.